Okay, now we just want to um, uh, close this window. And so we've, we've created our geometry here, uh, but how do we actually see it in, in view? So this button um, creates a new scene where we can view things. And I'll just click geometry scene here. And then I should be able to just, uh, oh, hang on, is it loading? Okay, we have no geometry actually. So what we need to do is convert this to a part. New part. And then can we drag it in? Yes, okay. So convert it to a new part. And then show it in geometry one. Okay, we still can't see anything. So let's go to scene plot. And then click on geometry one there. And if we scroll down, we should be able to set something's surface, okay. You go all the way down, representation is selected to none. So if I just select geometry, then I should be able to see what I just made here. Okay? And I'm just rotating the screen again. So my axis is um, correct. Uh, okay, so there's our wind tunnel. Um, now what we want to do is let's import that um, truck we downloaded. Uh, and put it in here. So let's go to File, Import, and um, Import Surface Mesh. Then here you find your file. Here is mine. GCM Scale dot Step. Let's open that up. Create new part as well. Press OK. It's importing. Okay, now, okay, here it is. Okay, now you can see it's been created in this uh, position that actually corresponds with the exact corner of this uh, step here. So, um, what we want to do now is move it to the right position. So, from the paper, we know that the truck is. Um, Place 13.33 centimeters from the beginning of the test section, and it's 1.5 centimeters above the bottom of the tunnel. Okay, so that is where the truck should be. So if we right click um, this thing, go to transform, and then uh, uh, first, let's relabel re these. So I'll, I'll rename that as um, truck model, and then I'll rename this as uh, wind tunnel. Okay. So we'll right-click this and then press Transform, Translate, and then we can translate it by the amount uh, we specified. So the x distance is 13.33 centimeters. And the uh, Z distance, which is the um, vertical distance, is uh, 1.5 centimeters. And the Y distance is, of course, uh, half of the wind tunnel width, which is uh, 1.525 meters. Okay? So we'll click apply, and now you'll see our truck has moved within that. Uh, so now it's comfortably within the uh, wind tunnel. So that looks cool. Uh, okay. And so if we want to view this in another way, we can press this. Uh, transparency button then you can see also everything transparent and our truck is now inside the wind tunnel so let's go on to the next video